everybody and welcome to Freaky Friday, our program for makers, inventors, and experimenters. My name is Miss Dina and today I'm taking you guys to the moon. So your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to get our astronauts, Bob and Brenda, to land safely on the moon. So we are going to build them a small transport craft to do just that. So what you're gonna need for your moon lander is a scissors, some kind of tape. I'm using duct tape because that's what I have at my house. Um, but you don't have to use duct tape. You can use masking tape. You can even use scotch tape. You can use glue if you'd like whatever you have available. Some index cards or some scratch paper, a paper cup, some straws, and of course, your astronauts, our two little marshmallows here. So, let's go ahead and get started. I think what I'm gonna do actually is cut myself a couple of strips of tape just to get started. So, here we go. Get ourselves just a little bit of tape. Does anyone know what the moon is called when it's shaped like a toenail? That's right, it's a crescent moon. And what about, what is the term for when you cannot see the moon in the sky? Does anybody know what that's called? The new moon, that's right. Woo, this duct tape does not want to cooperate with me, oh no. All right, woohoo, whoo, we got it. That was getting a little sticky there. If you'll pardon the pun. Start with just maybe these four here. Ooh. There we go. And speaking of space, did anybody get a chance to see the comet? I have not. But it looks very neat. So if you've been out to see it, put a note in the comments. I'd like to know what you thought. All right, now we've got a little bit of tape set. So we're going to take this index card, I think, and we're gonna start this as our platform. Now, our platform is gonna need some legs in order to land safely. I've got a couple of straws here. My straws happen to be bendy straws, and I think that these are going to make very good legs. So, hmm, what do you think? Let's go ahead and tape those on and see what happens. Hmm, and I think I might actually be able to use one bit of tape for both of these, which is nice. Because as much as I can, I try not to waste things. Ooh, that's gonna be maybe, we'll just put those a little closer together. Oh, I think that's going to be a little too short. Oh, no. I have a longer piece over here. Let's see. I'm going to take that off very carefully. I have just a little bit of a longer piece here. Hi, let's see if this one will work. Hmm. 
just barely, but it works. And you see that I have my legs taped on here. So this, we'll bend our straws a little bit more, will go just like this. All right, now let's tape some on the other side. Got one of our bendies here. Our other bendy, let's see here, do we have maybe a slightly longer piece of tape? I think I'm actually going to maybe cut another bit of tape. So we're gonna need a little bit more tape when we attach our cup here. There we go. Nice long piece of tape. Oh, and you know what? I forgot our trick from our marble maze. We're gonna go ahead and put the tape at the top there. And then we're just gonna cut down like this. Oh my. There we go. stickier than expected. All right, here we go. Let's start with one leg here. And then our next leg here. Oh boy, there we go. Ooh. I don't know. Let's see here. That's a little better. There we go. Got that on. And I think we're just going to cut off that little bit of tape. There we go. Oh. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, Bob and Brenda, are you okay? I think we're okay. But we're definitely going to need something to sit in. So, how about we attach the cup? Let's go ahead and stretch our legs out a bit. And I'm just going to stick a little bit of tape in here. You can tape, you can glue, however you would like to do this. There we go. And let's see here. I think we need at least one more kind of tape. Okay. Mm, I think maybe just one more little piece here. There we go. Okay. Get our straws, our legs back in order. Oh boy. Okay, who wants to go first? Brenda's going first. Oh, oh, we're not even gonna get off the ground. Hmm. What do you guys think? What would make this maybe a little bit more stable? 
hmm, I think maybe these legs are too long. What if we cut these a little bit shorter? Let's give that a try. So what I'm gonna do here is try to get those as even as possible. Whoop. I'm gonna hold these together and just snip. Okay, that's a start. Let's see here. Let's hope we can get these about the same length now. And let's bit shorter on this side. Oh my goodness. Miss Dina's making a mess. Okay. Well, that looks a little better, right? All right. It's Bob's turn. Okay. We're steady. How about Brenda? Oh, oh no. Okay, so we need a little bit more stability here. And I'm wondering if maybe our legs are a little bit too close together. So why don't we see if maybe we can, let's see, let's try to space them out a little further and just see what happens. Ooh. I have to do this very, very carefully. There we go. I think we may end up needing a little bit more tape for this. Okay. There we go. So let's try. We're gonna put this on the very edge here. And I'm actually going to tape it the long way. Hold it in place. There we go. All right, and the same with our orange leg. here. Okay. So again, we're going to go right along this edge. Hold it nice and steady. And whoop, there we go. Over just a little. All right. Got that taped down nicely there. All right. So you can see the difference between the two here. I'm hoping that's going to spread out a little bit of the weight and maybe support that just a little bit better, but we'll see. That's the best part about some of these activities is that you just play with it and see what works. And if something doesn't work, you can change it. It's no big deal. Okay, let's see, here we go. tape on that side. Oh boy. All 
right here. Okay. There we go. Attach it here first. Oh no, this makes it much easier. I wish I would have tried this earlier. And here we go. All right. So we've got our legs. Let's test it again. Ooh. It holds. Okay. I think we're ready for a test moon landing. What do you guys think? Let's try it. So grab a tape measure, I think. Here we go. Okay. We're going to measure out to one foot. There we go. That's not very tall. What do you guys think? You think we'll make it? All right, let's head up here. Let's find out if it'll land. Oh, oh, oh no. Let's try that one more time. My fingers got stuck on our tape. So let's see here. Oh, oh no. Mm -mm. So, hmm, what do you guys think? What could we do? to make this safer for Bob and Brenda. I have some extra index cards here. I wonder if we could put those to use. Hmm. What if we made something to go underneath here that gave it a little bit more support? Should we give that a try? Let's find out. I think I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold this accordion style. We have this folded like this. Now I'm going to tape it to the middle. Let's see what happens. Hmm. I don't know about this. You guys can see that. Hmm. Okay. Well, it helps. Now, let's 
see if it lands. Oh no! Hmm. Let's try it one more time. I'm gonna hold it up here. All right, here we go. <gasps> we did it! We did it! They landed and they landed safely. They're still in their cup. That is fantastic. Ah, I love it. So, as I said, the point of one of these exercises is to just sort of exercise your, your creativity a little bit and really to just experiment as a way to problem solve. If something doesn't work, just try something else and it's okay to start completely over. Now, if you made a moon landing, um, post pictures, better yet, post a video of your moon lander making it to the moon in the comment section because I always love to see what you guys make. And I will see you next Friday for another installment of Freaky Friday. Get ready to make some bubbles. Have a great weekend, everybody.